This add-on's pretty good. I kind of like it, to be honest. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, during this week's recommended Blender download, links in the top right above you, check me out being all YouTube, I did recommend Polemaker. Now, I never actually had a chance to sit down and play with it until today, and it's pretty damn good to be honest. Now, this is made by a Japanese developer. The link is in the description down below. If you want to check it out, it is available for free, and I'll give you a very quick tour. Now, there's several ways we can actually use Polemaker. The first method being we can use it in object mode and the second method we can use it inside of edit mode and that's where it has a little bit more freedom to be honest. So once you have the add-on installed what you can do here is I'm inside of object mode I'll go to the create tab and you can see here pole maker. So I'm going to click on single pole, it'll bring up a dialog box and you can see here I have several different action types. I can do telegraph, street light, signboard or a curve mirror. Now the curved mirror, generally you find this in places like Italy where it's narrow streets, stuff like this, but we're going to concentrate on the telegraph pole, I'm going to click here, and what it's going to do here is it actually appends it from another blender file, just kind of like instancing, and we have several different options here, we can change the type, we can change the transformer, so we can go to like a 20k volt, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you might. We can change things like the resolution, we can add things like footage bolts, so they're the bolts that you actually stand on, and that's us, we can add things like a lamp as well. So it's pretty good to be honest, we can even change things like the height of the pole. Now it feels a little bit laggy and that's obviously because it's appending from another file. So we have this nice telegraph pole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and then I'm going to add in another pole. And the reason I want to do this is I want to show you one of the main features, so let's add in another telegraph pole. We'll just change the position to something like lower and what I'll do here is I'll select it I'll move it away to the left and I'll just give it a little bit of rotation, something like that. And you might notice underneath the pole maker we have a connect wire. So what I can do here is I can select the poles and hit connect wire. And it connects the telegraph wires between it. How cool is that? <laughs> so that's pretty much the basic functionality of the pole maker. So let's go into it a little bit deeper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly start a new scene here. And I'm just going to add in something like a plane. I'm going to tab into edit mode, I'll grab this edge by pressing 2, I'll extrude it and I'll, I'll do it on the X axis and I'll just do it a couple of times to be honest, so something like this. Then what I'll do is I'll just quickly delete these edges. Now there's probably a quicker way to do this to be honest, but this will do for now. And I'm left with one edge. So if I select all of the object, I go into point mode and let's just quickly move these somewhere a bit erratic like this. So hopefully you can understand what I'm doing here. I'm actually laying down vertex points. This should be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it'll lay down telegraph poles. So I'm going to select all of the object. I'm going to go back under the Create tab inside of Edit Mode. You can see here we have different options. We can quickly navigate to what we want to select. So we'll do a street light this time just for a giggle. I now have a bunch of street lights. How cool is that? I love add-ons like this. It just... It, it just tickles my fancy. So there isn't much in terms when it comes to the street light, it's a very basic object, but we can change the randomness of it and stuff like this. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to quickly duplicate these vertex points, and we'll use something like a signboard. Let's try this out, pretty cool. Now we have a lot of variables when it comes to the actual signboard, so let's put the number up to something crazy like 4, let's give it an extension. And you can see here we can actually change the type from a triangle to a square perhaps. Now these are probably more orientated towards Japanese signs. There is a whole bunch of image files that come along with it. So they're kind of pre-textured. But you could probably change these out for American ones or whatever country that you work in. And that is pretty much pole maker now. You have the telegraphs, you have the street lights and the curved mirror. Nice and basic, a really cool add-on, I do like it. Links in the description down below, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it kinda helps me out big time, follow me on Twitter if you want to get in contact, anyway, you know what to do, take care.